I don't know of any other games where you follow a character through so many different ages or you encounter that character go to go through from being, I think she's 12 at her youngest to in her 80s, I believe. Um, and I think that's fascinating. Um, and then to have four different actresses play that as well is unique, I think. The gravity change like a feather in flight I've got time, I've got time Love is the flame Hi, I'm Rachel Louise Miller. Um, I play Lorna um, from the ages of 15 to 21. I'll get the Illarite to the palace and build a new gateway my own. I liked sort of her, she had a, a feistiness about her and um, it, what was interesting was each sort of scene and cut scene that we did, I had to sort of check in with where she was in sort of in her psyche because there were some, some moments where she was feeling quite optimistic and I can do this and it's okay, hopeful uh, with Alex and then others where you know, she'd been there for so long and so much time had passed that she was just utter despair and I found that really interesting to play. I love her to pieces, she's so feisty and she's so cool and she like really is very like, she likes to explore. My name is Hannah Howland and I play the character of Lorna at age 12. Alex! Oh, um, ignore this. I'm the Queen. Surprise! It's really cool to be able to have to play something that you're not yourself because it is more of a challenge and you can just draw on emotions that you've experienced. Being be able to work with such an amazing team of people has been absolutely out of this world. It's such an honour to work with Patrick Stewart as like I really look up to him and it's just so cool to be able to work alongside such an amazing actor. The day she vanished, Lorna was last seen outside the planetarium, heading to the basement. It began here, a gateway from the cellar to the stars. And when Lorna entered, it shattered, scattering fragments, constellations throughout the peak. Pretty cool. What's been great is um, working and meeting the other actresses and, and seeing the characters sort of journey from such a young age to towards the end of her life, really. I'm Stephanie Moore and I play Lorna at 54. I made a choice. I ran. And I pay for it every hour of every day. Initially, when I got the job, um, I was somewhat disconcerted to be playing. <laughs> A 54 year old. Um, but actually, it was, it was really great to be playing a character who's sort of a, a bit more uh, dishevelled, possibly, and with more life experience than myself. Well, I'm Judy and I play Lorna, the very, very old Lorna that, that you will see. Um, and I play her at the end of her life when she's been, um, she's been fairly alone. She's been trying very hard to get out and has failed. So actually by the time you meet my version of, of her, she is, uh, she's sort of given up. No, no, Alex is right here, like always. Stop it, you're scaring me. I, 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 I felt uh, an enormous amount of sympathy for her because I think that she embodied, she embodied a lot of the sadness that I think a lot of lonely people embody when they come to the end of their lives. You've utterly transported into something else, you know, even though I was in a room full of people, I did completely forget that and you're like, ah, I'm picking some up with my fake hand. <laughs> it is, yeah, really magical. There's nothing better than being in the middle of nowhere and looking up into the night sky and seeing a million stars. Wow, just wow. It's a fantastic journey, voyage, experience. And it was wonderful for me to watch it and then actually put, put, put the headset on and, and enter the world. Mm -hmm.